being alignment is kind of a weird thing because most people don't even know what alignment is. You don't really think about like where the power is coming from when you flip a switch or something. Looking around and seeing guys like you 30 feet up in the air doing your magic, you know, that's, that's superhero stuff. Where in the country are you right now? So I work in Odessa, Texas, and I live in Midland, Texas. But so. you came up out here in, in California, right? Yeah, from Los Angeles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sean, how does, a, how does a soft, squishy, cushy <laughs> guy live in the Southern California lifestyle wind up in Odessa? I mean, that's, that's a town that looks like work. I wanted to be a lineman for a really long time and I didn't really know how to do it. I first got interested in it just because of like the reputation that linemen have. They work really hard and they party hard and that seemed really cool when I was 20. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. I was trying to get a job in California and I couldn't basically get my foot in the door anyway. So I did decide to apply out of state. I decided to apply in Texas that morning. And within the afternoon, I got a call back and they're like, can, you know, when can you start? So I packed everything that I could in my Ford Fiesta, and, which is not a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's not a classic lineman car. Either. No, there's like me and everyone else has got trucks. Yeah, so I've been doing this for a little while and every day and my goal is to just get a little bit better. I don't know if, I, if I'll stay in Texas forever. So I definitely feel like I'm where I'm meant to be right now. What's the most rewarding part of it? I mean, most of my life I had depression. Now that I'm in a position where, you know, 60 hours a week is like a slow week. And there's something about working all the time. There's something fulfilling about that. Like I have less time now to myself than I've ever had in my life. And I'm like happier than I've ever been. If you're gonna work a crazy 17 hour day, for example, that means that you have to be in bed at a certain time. You have to be up at a certain time. I like going to the gym. So if I wanna go to the gym, I gotta get up at 3.30 in the morning so that I can get my workout in so I can be at work at 5.30 in the morning. Dude, you gotta really like going to the gym. <laughs> we did 300 dirty jobs. I spent a day and a half with linemen up in um, Wyoming. And what I learned first and foremost was, aside from a massive amount of practical electrical knowledge, you need to be fit. You need to yes. be in shape for real. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> My second day at school, I ended up gaffing myself. For those who don't know what gaffs are, they're basically knives that you strap to your feet to climb a pole. And I stabbed my own foot. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad sign. Tell me, Sean, if you would, how, how you came to find us. I can't remember exactly how you popped up in my YouTube feed. And you were talking about trade schools. And you were saying that uh, one of the number one quickest ways to be a self-employed like business owner is by going into a trade. And I had never really seriously considered a trade as like a pathway to being self-employed before. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I watched some more videos and some more interviews. And, uh, and there was one where you talked about the scholarship and you were like, we try to give this money away, but a lot of people just don't jump through the hoops to be able to get the, the scholarship. And I, at the time I was thinking like, how am I gonna pay for line school? And I was like, I will jump through those I'll hoops. Jump through that hoop. <laughs> Show me that hoop. Right? Your initial reaction was, I'll jump through that hoop. 99 out of 100 people go, oh, it's a hoop. Hoops aren't for me. If you're determined to do something, you just have to do whatever it is to get your foot in the door. What I want people to understand most of all about your story is that you wanted to be in alignment, but you had no idea how to do it. You wanted to be in alignment, but you weren't in shape. You wanted to be in alignment, but you didn't have the money. You wanted to be in alignment, but there's no way that was gonna happen in California. You went on a mission. Now you're 1,500 miles away from where you started with a skill you didn't have getting up at the crack of ass to work out at 30 <laughs> in the morning. I mean, most days, not every day, <laughs> not every day, but, but you did what had to be done. I'm Sean O'Connor and I'm an apprentice lineman.